Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm reviewing Edmund Rostand's Cyrano de Bergerac. As you can see, it's a beautiful Easton Press leather bound edition. And I don't have a library full of leather bound books. This is one of those decisions that I made in my 20s that I'm really glad that I did. Uh, a lot of times I think uh, we look back on our 20s and we didn't make the best decisions. I always look at my 20s as the time that I, I worked uh, more than I'd ever worked at any other time in my life. And for whatever reason, I thought, oh, I should, I should spend that money on leather-bound books. Now, to be fair, Easton Press had a really interesting subscription service back at the time when you could, you could subscribe. And if you didn't want the book, you could always return it. But of course, you were never – unless you didn't like the title – once you opened these beauties up and you would see things, so I'll show you. So you have these beautiful illustrations and font, and it's the sort of book that you want to keep in your library in, because it's such a pleasure to read. I think sometimes with Kindle and audiobooks and even regular, regular trade paperbacks, we can see reading as something functional the way that we might just eat a sandwich on the go when we're in the middle of a work day. But reading can be something really pleasurable uh, in, in this tactile sense, as much as a, a Michelin-starred meal can be uh, pleasurable as well. But on to Rostand and Cyrano de Bergerac. There was a real-life Cyrano de Bergerac, and whether he was as flamboyant, funny, interesting, witty, romantic as this character... I don't know if you can ever live up to the legend of yourself. But what I will say is, unlike many other plays, I think I can recall a scene from almost every act of the play. They're so memorable. They're so well, con they're so well constructed that even now, as I, as I think about it, as I, as I want to tell you about it, it brings a smile to my face because I rostand... Rostand gives us such a vivid picture. So, for example, in Act One, you have you long before this was discovered as a tactic for research uh, through research. Cyrano combats the number one insult that's going to be hurled against him, which is his nose, by coming up with every possible insult regarding the nose. Uh, to someone who wants to insult him. And he says, well, you should try it this way. You should try it this way. You should try it this way. In fact, <laughs> I, should, I should read you some of this. Um, he says, you might have put it some way as this. Aggressive. Sir, if I had such a nose, I'd cut it off to please, not spite my face. Friendly. A nose like that must dip so deep. A special goblet should be shaped for it. Descriptive. Tis a rock, a peak, a cape. Did I say cape? "'Tis a peninsula. Inquisitive. Is it an oblong box for pen and ink? Is it a scissors case? Now, obviously, I'm reading the English, but it's originally in French. And, and yet, as with so many great works of literature, the humor, the play of language comes out, even in translation. And my friends who read this in French have told me it's quite a joy to read as well. Another scene, Act Two, The, the Baker... He is, he is a, a baker who happens to like to read, and that's why he and Cyrano are such good friends. And his wife, his wife is, not, is not having it. And so at some point, she rips, up his, she rips up his books and uses them as, as paper. For, for those, those of you who, who are used to buying baked goods, particularly here in France, it's always wrapped in some kind of paper, usually that, uh, that is related to the bakery in question. It might have their name on it. It might just have a generic name of the, the flour that they use. But in this particular case, to save it, he then, uh, he then uh, the, the wife then, uh, as I say, the wife uses this as wrapping paper. The, the poor baker is so heartbroken about this. He, go, he chases out these, he, he chases after some people and <laughs> reads, the, um, reads the lines of poetry. And he, he says, listen, if you will put the, the pastries in a sack, I'll give you some more. Just give me the paperback. <laughs> and he's just such a, a charming, sweet man. His, his wife is not, 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 not a great wife. Um, we also have this uh, famous scene of 
the Gascon cadets trying not to um, seem hungry. You know, the, the, the antagonist in the story comes in. They're on the front fighting. Everyone's starving, but they make it look like it's no big deal. But, but when the feast comes, you see this normal French relish for food and for eating come to the fore. And in the very middle of the play, we have this, I, I, I don't know how to read it outside of the Romeo and Juliet balcony scene. So almost all balcony scenes after Romeo and Juliet are impossible to, to read without it, where we have a female disclosing her real thoughts, which are supposed to be, let's say, hidden from the man. The man has to sort of guess. He has to sort of try to get through to you know, how she's really thinking. In this particular case, because Cyrano is acting on behalf of Christian, who is, he's a, you could say he's a fighter, not a lover. He's not great with words, but he's very handsome, and he's captured Roxanne's eye. And so Cyrano at first is feeding him these lines... And he can't quite keep up. And then at some point, he impersonates. And since it's dusk, Roxanne can't quite figure out who it is. And you see this transformation of trying to make your words fit someone else. And then the freedom of being able to speak your words yourself. I don't want to spoil it. I generally don't want to spoil uh, the plot of stories when I'm doing these book reviews. But I will say that the reveal at the end of the play... Uh, this is one of the, the times that I can say I've, I've cried in literature. Uh, I, I, I remember crying at the end of The Count of Monte Cristo because the, the closing of that book is so beautiful. And I would say here in, in Act 5, when we have the disclosure and the revelation, I was, I was touched. And when we talked about this in a book club, the opinions were divided as to, to why people were touched and some people were not as deeply touched as those of us who, who were, who, who were quite moved, but some saw a big, uh, a great waste uh, due to the revelation. Others saw it as a, a sort of beautiful disclosure, a reality about, uh, about time and love and opportunities and chances and, and missed opportunities and missed chances. The road not taken, if you will. But in any case, it's not, it's not long. I think even in this beautiful illustrated edition, it's under 200 pages. It's a play, so you can easily read it in an afternoon. But you'll be pondering it for um, much more than an afternoon afterwards. Rostand, when he premiered this play, it was immediately a success, and it went on to become his greatest work. I do think he has some other plays, maybe some other short stories, but nothing ever equaled the success of, of Cyrano. And it's been made into, into musicals. There's a, uh, a quite well done, say a traditional version of it by Gérard Depardieu, um, I think in the 90s perhaps, which I think is, is quite well done. You can see, almost see Depardieu has, has almost captured the, the spirit of Cyrano. It's hard, once you watch that adaptation, it's hard to read the play and not think of Depardieu giving some of these lines. In any case, strongly recommended. You don't have to get this. And if you didn't, if you didn't spend your 20s accruing some of these leather-bound books, you may be hard-pressed to find them at reasonable prices. But you can find an easy Penguin, Signet, um, uh, Oxford edition for under $5. It's very much worth reading. Go to a used bookstore, get it even cheaper. If you'd like to buy it online, there's a bookshop link in the description below where you can also hit the like button, hit subscribe. If you'd like to see more of these videos, if you'd like to support these videos, there's also a link to Patreon. You can become a subscriber and you will get notifications of these videos when they come out. And until next time, enjoy your reading.